the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to implement the material design in XAML. So this is the most comprehensive and easy to use material design UI libraries across any platform. With material design in XAML toolkit, you can easily bring beautiful desktop applications to life using a modern and popular design language. This is fully open source and one of the most popular GUI libraries for WPF. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start by creating a new project and selecting WPF app netcore and fill out the project name and the location and click on create. Once our window is ready and loaded, let's go to the properties and change some of the properties. Select the window and go to properties and first property that we are going to change is the allow transparency checkbox. Okay, now let's select the stack panel and draw a side panel onto the window. Now let's select one more stack panel and draw it on the window next to the previous stack panel and this time we'll uh, change the orientation to horizontal and let's make a duplicate of the second stack panel and place it at the bottom now let's uh, change the background of all the three stack panels okay Let's adjust the height and width and now let's go to the solution and go to the NuGet packages, manage NuGet packages and browse for the material design themes. Select the material design theme and select the project and install. Now next we shall uh, install the material design colors uh, NuGet package. And also we will be installing the live chart NuGet package which will help us uh, display charts on our dashboard or any WPF uh, apps. So select the live charts WPF uh, NuGet package and select the project and click on install. Also make sure you install the right version and uh, the install packages will be displayed under the install tab. Now let's add our first button. Here I am just uh, designing this uh, window just for demonstration purposes to populate all the controls and to show you how they are different in the material design and how they look and how they act when you click on them. So here I've added a button and I'm just setting the margins. Let's go to the app.xaml file and go to the material design uh, page. The, the links for the, this I will be pasting into the description. So copy the resource dictionary from that page and paste it in the application resources. So you can see that uh, the button has already changed. Now let's copy the main window XAML and uh, paste it in our XAML window before the grid. Okay. Uh, so you can see uh, the changes now let's remove the uh, let's add a style to the button so let's select a static resource so this is st this is static resource because we have added the uh, resources in the app.xaml file and um, here i am uh, setting the resource key as a floating button 
and uh, inside this button we are creating a stack panel and inside this stack panel we will be adding an icon there are tons of icons in the material design theme pack so you can write material design and select a pack icon and the type of pack icon that I've selected is a uh, hamburger menu so similarly you can add multiple buttons here Uh, here I'm just uh, adjusting the height and width of the button, floating button. Okay, looks good. Now I'll just uh, copy the uh, newly created button and paste it uh, three times and adjust the margins accordingly. So here I am copy pasting the uh, buttons and changing the icons for them. You can set your uh, desired icons from the icon packs. You can also go to the material design uh, website and see the list of icons that you have and you can use them here. So next uh, we will add a very uh, beautiful uh, card on the window. So for that we'll have to go to the uh, material design page and copy the material design card template and just paste it between the stack panel. Okay. So Let's paste it there and here you can see this beautiful floating stack panel on the window. Let's remove the text block that was def uh, there by default. So let's remove that and add a text block of our own. And uh, let's uh, play around with the uh, content on the material card. So here I am just uh, displaying some number uh, in a text block and uh, a label for that. So similarly, I'll be adding uh, a few more uh, material design cards on the window and uh, I'll speed up this process here. So on this uh, last card, I am adding a text box, a check box and a button uh, on the card and here you can see already see that uh, how the new button uh, design looks like and the other controls as well. This, uh, this is a very simplistic and modern design that you can have on your applications. So uh, now we are done with the uh, bottom stack panel. So let's uh, start with the top uh, stack panel. So for that, let's add a grid on to the stack panel and uh, increase its width. Okay. And uh, let's uh, set a margin of uh, 20 on all sides. Okay. And uh, 
next to the grid let's add one more grid before that let's uh, name the grid to render chart uh, this is the grid where we'll be uh, rendering the live chart and uh, next we'll add one more grid next to it and adjust the margin and width and populate some more controls like the combo box uh, a daytime picker and uh, a button here i'll speed up this process again because this uh, adding of controls from the toolbox is pretty uh, simple and it uh, and the themes will be automatically applied to the newly added buttons okay uh, now next uh, we'll just copy the material design card template for the newly created grid uh, on which the controls were placed and we'll just move that grid inside the material design card and uh, adjust the margins and the width for both and uh, now for the grid that was uh, that will be uh, showing you the live chart we'll also add a material card inside uh, for that and move the grid inside the material card and remove the margins and adjust the margins uh, for the uh, card and the grid accordingly uh, now let's add a user control to the project and adjust its uh, width and height Now let's add a reference uh, to the of the live chart to the uh, user control. So let's go to the live chart page and copy the reference uh, for the user control. Uh, the link for the live chart is also available in the description. Uh, so let's paste that and then copy the live chart itself and paste it inside the grid and remove the unwanted uh, uh, controls uh, and uh, here you can see I am binding a series collection so uh, to provide this uh, series collection we will have to go to the code behind and paste the following code uh, we will have to add some references and namespaces and here we have the plot uh, for the graph and which we have to paste after the initialize uh, component and remove the unwanted uh, uh, labels and series which are not required you can obviously uh, keep them if you want to but uh, here for demonstration purpose I am just removing them so now let's click on the main window and go to its properties and in the events panel on click on the window load let's uh, write some code so let's uh, uh, clear the children's of the grid and uh, add a new uh, child to the grid and here the child will be the live chart itself so let's run the application and there you go guys uh, the modern material design application is ready so here you can see the floating buttons uh, and the cards and the email text box the checkbox and the button all very beautifully animated and uh, beautifully placed so you can make use of this uh, beautiful uh, theme in your applications hope you all like watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you